Yields are coming off this morning. Some might call it collapsing and stocks are loving this. Let's look at yields first. The two year down double digits, 471, down 10 basis points. The five year 428, down 13 basis points. 10 year yield, also down 10 basis points, fall 429. 30 year down seven basis points at 446 and no change in the twos tens inversion. Negative 42 settlement yesterday, negative 41 shows you the entire yield curve is coming lower. Stocks on the other hand are moving higher, plus 2.74% on the Russell, 1.30% on the NASDAQ. The s and is higher by 1.03% and the Dow is up by seven tenths of a percent as I speak to you right now. Also, gold, silver, copper, and crude oil all higher. Gold is up seven tenths of a percent. Silver up 2.15%, copper up 1.12%, and crude oil up 1.64% as I speak to you right now. Japanese PPI was higher than expected. Chinese inflation was much lower than expected, but the big one, of course, US CPI. Every rate of change metric came in lower than expected in the CPI figures and all by a tenth of 1% with month over month CPI headline flat. That means no increase in prices month over month. That's the first time this ha that's happened in over two years. And that excited the stock market along with collapsing those yields and exciting the hard commodities that I mentioned. This afternoon we have an FOMC meeting and that CPI data is not likely to change what they were going to say in their statement or Jerome Powell in the press conference. As a matter of fact, might take away a little hawkishness. We'll have to see. They're likely to call this a one-off data. No rate change is expected. No expected in their quantitative easing is expected either, but that part could happen. We're also going to pay close attention to the dot plots, the SEP, the summary of economic projections. Those are all the same thing that will be released at this particular meeting. Remember, that doesn't come out at every meeting. Looking ahead, today after the close, we had three companies with market caps of over a billion dollars, and they are Broadcom, Dave & Busters, and Oxford Industry. That's the big apparel manufacturer. Tomorrow before the open, we have three companies reporting with market caps of a billion or more, and they are Signet Jewelers, Corn Ferry, that's a staffing company, and John Wiley and Sons Publishing. Data tonight, Aussie employment data to due out tomorrow morning, new yuan loans and PPI data in the US. Those new yuan loans are in China, obviously, along with weekly jobless claims and a 30-year bond auction, as well as Fed speak begins anew with a speech by New York Fed President John Williams.